Welcome to the Untrapped Podcast, where we're motivated and inspired about success, small business, and personal development. And now, Keith Kalfas. You know, there's these defining moments where you wake up in the morning and you have you have so much pressure on you. You've created so many, so many obligations and expectations all revolving around you. Okay, so you, you, you have so much going on, you're so burned out, you can't even get out of bed. And you have to peel yourself out of bed. You just need a day off. This is what you created. You could literally have a sick wife or a sick pet or a sick child. Your phone is ringing off the hook. You still have to pack your lunch. And you might have five, six, seven, eight employees sitting out there waiting for you, all on the clock now. You're behind on job sites, and you have pissed off clients, your family's pissed off at you, and you have a family event to be to. Like, all this shit is all coming down on you at once. And you're just trying to put your boots on and just get to the job site. There are people that are young that run businesses that end up having total breakdowns. I've seen old uh, landscape bosses that I work for and be like, that guy's crazy. He needs to be on medication. What's wrong with him? Why doesn't he just, why does he just do this? You ever, you ever seen somebody, maybe it was you walking out of the house late as shit. You couldn't even get out of bed. Your hair is all messed up. You got bags under your eyes and you look like you've been up all night smoking crack and your employees are just looking at you like, what the is going on with him. I don't even know if I trust this guy anymore. When they when he hired me, I thought I was starting a job for the greatest landscaping business in the city. I mean, I was for sure he had his shit together. Now I'm not so sure. You've been exposed. You've been exposed as uh well, somebody who's just trying your hardest to be successful. And now you're uh, you're sitting there with uh gray hairs popping out and bags under your eyes. Phone's ringing off the hook. Everybody's mad at you all the time. And you suck. You suck. (sighs) But then you look and the sun is shining through the trees. You have breath in your lungs. And you realize you created all this shit. And now you gotta eat it. But can you do it with a smile on your face and a good attitude? You know who I really aspire? one One of my best friends, Eric Reno, the roofer. This fucking guy will have so much shit on his plate. (laughs) And he'll call me up. He'll go, what up, though? He's in his truck on the way to the next quote. I'm like, what's up, man? We're We're booked out nine weeks. He's like, I know we're booked out 12 weeks. We have like 65 roofs on the books. And I'll be like, I'm a little stressed out, man. He's like, I know, man. It's awesome. We're crushing it, dog. Think about that. Think about a state of consciousness. Like Tony Robbins said, no matter what happens, you choose to live in a beautiful state. Even if everybody's mad at you, just try to... It really does help when you raise your prices and you at least you feel like you're getting rewarded for what you're doing. Because I believe there's there's this... Uh, it's, called, it's like cash flow purgatory. There's a period in your business where I'm not even playing... You might go two, three years of just working your ass off and not seeing anything in return for it, and you will get so fucking depressed. Sorry I'm cussing, man. I just got to be real, bro. You will get so (laughs) depressed that you will be the dude with bags in your eyes. Oh, my God. What did I get myself into? I hate this business. I got to quit. I'm getting out. Keith returns right after this short break. Guys, if you need help being more organized and being perceived as a professional to your clients and prospective customers, then you got to check out Jobber. Jobber is an awesome software that you can run your entire service business on. You can create invoices, quotes, estimates, work orders. It integrates with your calendar. You can collect money. You can run your whole business on Jobber and grow with it as well. Get your 14-day free trial of Jobber at keithkelfus.com forward slash jobber. I use jobber in my business and it's awesome. 
Here's Keith Kalfas. And all you see around you is the people that are all failing, and you're one of them because you're projecting what's going on inside of you, and you look at your bank account, and you're like, this ain't working. It's not working, man. And you feel stuck there. Like, that's 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 your purgatory. <sighs> that's when I think you start crossing your fingers and just taking leaps of faith. You get to this point where you don't care anymore. You feel if you're failing anyways... If you're failing anyways and ain't working, then that's when you just start going loopy and crazy and you just start doing crazy shit like raising prices and doing stuff you don't normally do or stopping stuff that doesn't make you any money or, or just growing growing a pair and um, just starting to get a little more risky, right? I think uh, Brian Tracy said you're either learning or you're earning. If you're not learning a whole lot more, you better be earning more. But if there's a time where you're stagnant, where you're not learning anymore, and you're not earning anymore, then you're just coasting, and you're actually just dying. So there's one beautiful thing I heard from author Barbara DeAngelis. I listen to tons of audiobooks, hundreds of them on audible.com. Oh, yeah, smash the subscribe button. I got to start saying that. But she said sometimes the best thing you can do is to do nothing and be is to be nobody for a while. Stop caring about being somebody huge and somebody so important and somebody that everybody's proud of and being this person that you that wants to be somebody so bad and stop fighting and stop resisting and just surrender and let go and just go to work. Just let the fuck go. Stop putting so much pressure on yourself to perform and be somebody who's not inadequate, who's not a failure, who's not unworthy. And just be, just be, just be yourself and be happy to be in your own skin and your own shoes and become one with your work and rest in your work. Rest in your work. That means you can be working your ass off, but you're at rest. You're calm. You stay hydrated and you stay in a place of gratitude. <sighs> if you don't care about impressing anybody and you just become in love with the process, you fall in love with the process and you just spend a season or a period. You say, you know what? For the rest of this month, I'm going to let go of all this pressure and I'm just going to go to work and fall in love with the process. Get in where you fit in. You want to be like these people on social media or maybe the friends that you have, they're so incredibly successful. But it's driving you crazy because you're not getting there fast enough, right? And I really think that it's like playing level leveling up in a video game. Sometimes you got to just hustle for a while and just work this thing because there's so many more deep dynamic lessons that you think that you don't need to learn because you think you're done with that level and you already learned that. But no, you got to get in there and just do the work for a little while. But I already did the work, Elvis. I already did it. I did do it for three years and it's not working. I get it. There has to come a point where there's something inside of you. When you know you're done with something, that's when you're not resisting it anymore. You literally, it's kind of like, this is kind of a crappy example of like, like you... You want to go buy something. When it comes to the point where you're not even threatened anymore, you just you just swipe your credit card and you just or you just dish out the cash and buy it. When something when you're over it, when you when you're over it, and now it's just an obvious thing. Like you've outgrown this space and you break into a new paradigm. Look at my tall socks. Are these what's going on with these socks? This is a catastrophe. Just ruined the whole video. When you break into a new paradigm, boom, you outgrow like a, like a butterfly out of a cocoon. You know, a butterfly can't go back. And now you know you can't go back into that space anymore. You just don't fit there anymore. You've grown. You've grown. You spread your wings. And then, now you know you've leveled up. Now, it's, it's apparent. It's obvious. Now it's in your voice. <sighs> Get it? And you get you get my drift. Later, my friend. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening to the Untrapped Podcast. Please share this episode with somebody you think it will create value for. And we're quickly moving up the rankings in iTunes in the category of entrepreneurship. So if you could please just take a quick moment to click the link. Uh, below or just go to the iTunes store and type in Untrap Podcast and please take a moment to leave us a well-written positive five-star review. It would mean so much and it really, really helps the show. All right, I'll see you in the next episode.
And as always, you can go to my website, keithkelfus.com, to learn more. Or you can go to my podcast page on keithkelfus.com forward slash podcast.